Ah, dude, we're finally here, man! Scorched Earth. One of the hardest maps to get started on in all of Ark. It's, it's not a safe place, dude. You got the heat, you got raptors, you got dragons, and everything else in between. Where are we at in life? Green Obelisk. That's where we're heading to. So normally I start off on, actually just on the other side of those mountains there. Very nice location. Not exactly safe, but this time I need to get to an obelisk. Got some stuff, man. Brought quite the care package this time. We can make it over here without any raptors, any saber tooth or scorpions, or carnos, or rex. <laughs> we should be fine, man. Is that a Jerboa? I saw the tail, Junior! There's two of you! Look, man, look. We've got to start this off proper. You cannot come to Scorched Earth without getting a Jerboa. Yep, take a nap, buddy. Take a nap. Look, man, look. We're going to be friends. I like the colors on you. I'll feed you some berries. Save you from the heat. Okay, he's knocked out. Nice, nice. Let's grab some berries. So if you don't know, on Scorched Earth, there's some different mechanics that are kind of unique to this map. One of them is the Jerboas, man. So with the Jerboas, you've got some, some way to alert you of these storms that are coming in. A couple different storms. you got the sandstorms. you got the electrical. You've got the heat waves, which also bring in another special team, which will be the Phoenix. Never seen one. And all my time in Ark. And he's tamed, man. Fantastic, dude. Super easy to tame. Let's give him some more berries. A little bit of snack for later. Junior! <laughs> Buddy, man. Look, the whole punching thing in the head. Let, let, let's forget about it, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're fine, though. Look at that, man. Not even two minutes in, we got our first tame. So, <laughs> hopefully, we both make it over here to the obelisk and don't die along the way. We need to go up top here, I think. Might be safer. But yeah, we'll get up here. We'll show you the care package. The transmitter, I totally filled up, man. Got as much stuff as I could packed into that because we're bringing a lot of our stuff onto the different maps. Now, in ASC, I went ahead and started over each map, like, totally. I brought my character, and that was it. We could have stayed down there and just gone around. But this time, we're bringing our stuff with us, so we don't have to do all the, the basic... ...taming over and over. Terrifying sound. We're going right back up this way. <laughs> It's hard, dude, to get started on this map. The heat is one thing, right? Everything spoils. We just went around. I thought this was going up top. The uh, heat spoils everything else, too, super fast. I think it's like double the normal rates. Let's stop and get us some cactus real quick. Very good for water. Oh, that's off. I was like, dude, we got to be getting some, right? Cactus stat, man. It's like the, uh, the lifeblood of this map for right now, whenever you're starting off. We got a couple, right? We got 13. That'll work. Get some stamina back. But yeah, you got the uh, the Jaboas, the Heat Waves, you got the Dragons, which sometimes there's one flying over the Green Obelisk. Terrifying thing. And then there's a bunch of new creatures and stuff, too. Now, the thing about this map I like is it's kind of a small-ish map, for the most part, and you only got three of the Artifact Caves, man. Now, that might have changed with ASA. I don't think so, though. We'll check whenever we get up to the Obelisk up here. But the caves are kind of cool. And then, all you need for your Apex Drops is just the Dragon Talons. Now, I know, kind of seems simple. All you need is a couple Dragon Talons, but... That means you gotta farm the Dragons. Not exactly the easiest thing. Kind of get to that bridge whenever we, uh, we get to it, man. I think we're okay. Those Raptors are back that way. Now, up here is usually some Capros. And there's some Sabres! Did he see us? He did. He did. Look, I will throw out the Jerboa. <laughs> I will use him as bait. Dude, I did not do a mind wipe, so there's another storm coming. We got launched. I thought we were gonna go on top of that other one. We would have been safe. We're gonna die. We're gonna die right here with our new Jaboa. I was gonna change our stats around some to have more stamina and more water, but I didn't. We got raptors too, man. Look, guys, <laughs> everybody wants a piece of Bimo. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We're gonna lose our new friend, man. It is not safe by the obelisk. So that's the only place, I mean, one of the only places to get a lot of water. Now there is some water scattered kind of throughout the map, but the majority of it is around the obelisk. And that's kind of where you find all the creatures and stuff too. I mean, like the raptors and the, oh, speaking of water, there's a lot of these too. Little water veins, man. You get some of the, uh, the pumps you can put on those. That was another cliff. So let's see. I didn't see a death message. I'm sure the Jerboa got killed, though, man. He's not gonna survive all those raptors. Have to grab us another one. These guys are kind of unique to the map, too. The jug bugs. So, if you... Yep, there you go. Get some oil. And then there's some of the ones that have water as well. They kind of got the blue backside instead of the red. 
Kind of cool, man. Like seeing them around. Not a really good source of chitin, but it's an alternative. Plenty of mantis on this map to get your chitin from, though. So we're going to run right back here the same way and then kind of loop around the other side if we can. Oh, there's our Jaboa died! Jaboa? Guys, you alright? Where yet? I hear you. We should probably wait to tame one <laughs> until we get our stuff. I will come back for you guys. I know right where you're at. For the most part. We use our death marker as a... Oh, as a death marker. <laughs> Not go back to it. We'll go around it. Is that... It's the same cat? Is that the same one? It looks exactly the same. I'm just saying. You just wait until I get my cats, okay? You guys can play. He will tear you up. I won't have to deal with you. Yep. There we go. So running to the raptors was not the best idea. Oh, there's the Morello tops. Okay, okay, look, look. Get the cat on the Morello tops. There we go. That's the best thing those are used for, man. They're like mobile water tanks. But they're very good for kiting other creatures onto. Hear footsteps. Not my own. Some other ones. <laughs> I know mine are here as well. So we got a cat down there. All we have to do is get to the obelisk, and we're set, dude. Gotta watch out, because over here are Thylas and Rex. We got Capros around the water. Are we okay? Well, we fell down. I did not mean to. I guess we're gonna be down here anyways. Sneaky, sneaky. The platform is actually clear for a change. Raptor's up there. Okay, copy that. I don't see Capros. Doesn't mean they're not here. Just means we don't see them. Alright, first thing we need, the cats. Grab the cat, grab the cat, grab the cats. Where's the cats? Right here. Alright. Evaluate our life. We okay? We alright? I think for the most part we are. Let's get rid of that... Death Marker. Don't need to be reminded where we lost our first team. Floating Stick. Okay, copy that. I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and try to grab the Quetzal. Do not kite the Raptors over here, please, and thank you. Let's put him on neutral. So, show you what I got. <laughs> Quite a bit of stuff, man. ACs. We are in the desert. We definitely need some air conditioners. We got a couple canteens. We got some different dyes, we got our chibi, we got our full set of cloth armor. Now, I did not bring any flak because there's some armor on this map that I really like. It's the desert armor. We got a stack of jerky. We got a cryo fridge, we got our UD, some empty cryopods, our dodic. We got the theory, the quetzal, the anki. That's all for tames that I brought. And then we got all of our normal stuff, right? We have all this stuff left over from that base we kind of demolished. So all of our regular equipment is here. I did not bring any tech. We got this stuff. Let's go ahead and start taking some of it out. We've got our shotgun. Definitely brought that. 263 on the shots. Let's do our folder. Let's drop this stuff. We don't need it. We're going to keep the oil, though. We've got our very powerful long neck at a 116%. <laughs> it's horrible, dude. That's the best one we got. And I opted to bring just a normal Tranks. I didn't have enough biotoxin to bring. Is there a storm coming? It's a sandstorm! Oh, dude, we're gonna be overweight here in a second. I don't want that. Let's grab out the bird. Take the bird out and start just loading it up. I did not bring the Argentavis. Wanted to kind of do it a little bit different, man. We, you know, we talked about this a couple times in the past videos about my feelings on the Argentavis, so I thought that the Quetzal would be good. Now we're gonna be out of water, we're gonna be out of stamina. And we're going to start collecting a lot of sand from the sandstorm. Holy crap, is that terrible? And once we get the desert armor, it kind of protects you from the sandstorms and stuff, man. Got like a little mass that comes down. It's kind of cool, man. It looks fantastic. I'm, I'm super excited to see how it looks in ASA versus ASE. So let's start grabbing this stuff. We have to grab it kind of slow because even on single player, if you transfer stuff too fast, it'll kind of bug out and it'll say that it's like retrieving inventory. And the last thing you want to happen is that during the middle of a storm of any kind. Let's grab our armor out. And then a little bit of food. We are getting hungry. Let's go ahead and put this on. Eat a couple of these. 
We'll get this sorted out. And the main thing we'll be doing today is trying to find a place to call home for the most part, right? Now, like I said, there's that one place that we used to build on the other maps. And I think we want to build somewhere different, man. We might just build right here by the obelisk. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, yeah, got a paintbrush and our paint gun as well. And then made up some dyes. We got our generator. So for the dyes, I went ahead and just... Hello? It did pull it out. It just didn't say that it did. Um, got some of the dyes made, and we'll use that for, you know, part of our base. Kind of curious how the adobe will look whenever we start actually painting it and stuff. Grab this, and that, and the last two dyes. So that's kind of buggy. The slots were saying zero, but they were still there, so at least we know that we have everything. Drop all this into you. Actually, let me keep all the tames on me. Just so that if something happens, I know exactly where to get them. They'll be on my bag, right? I don't want the sand, dude. I mean, we're gonna need some, but we got the dodic and everything for that. There we go, man. Nice, dude. Nice. Let's go ahead and pick up the cat. Holy crap, the sandstorm is no joke. Now, he runs out of stamina, too, I think, right? Or does it regen? Let's do some testing real quick. So he can't run. He can't sprint. And his stamina does go down once you start moving. And it won't go back up until the sandstorm is over. So let's take our hats and hide it. Let's take our hats. And Junior, there we go. <laughs> don't start with me. It's going to be a very long day. I think what we might do is just try to build right around here. Now, normally I don't build by the obelisk. But we're kind of in a good, good spot. There's a cat over there. Because up over there is where the thylas are. There's a lot of oil and metal nodes around here as well. And they were kind of away from the dragon trench. That is a good thing. Trust me, it's a very good thing. While we're waiting, let's look at this. So we got three different versions of the mana core. You got the, of course, the beta, gamma, and alpha. Three artifacts is all I see. Yep, yep, yep. Do your thing, buddy. Do your thing. Reload, reload. Yep, we're not reloaded. Why would we be? No, oh, dude. There we go. Raptors, dude. There you go, buddy. The storms, man, they're fantastic. Terrifying. At least now, you can actually see when the storms are going on. It used to be an ASE. You could not see anything with the sandstorms. More raptors up there. But the regular electrical ones are kind of cool. You can't use any cryopods. Look at it, man. That is fantastic. It's like a, a huge wall. It's going across the map. That's... is awesome. If you look at the clouds, you can kind of see it's actually moving across across the uh, the map. But the electrical one, you can't use anything out of the fabricator, right? Like your normal fabricator shotgun won't work, the crowd pods won't work, your generator stops working, all your tech stuff. Kind of cool, man. Neat mechanic. Let's just carry you, I think. I don't want to put you into a cryo. Let's see what we have around here real quick for building locations. Because I think some of the terrain has changed. I mean, right here is actually fantastic. We have very close access to the desert. So again, if you didn't know, around the whole map is desert, right? It's all just kind of open dunes, and it's kind of the map border. Now, there are some of the, uh, what are they called, the sandworms out there? The death worms? And there's a lot of mantis and stuff, so that's a very good source for our chitin and polymer. I think right here might work, dude. For now, for our starting base. What about up here? I kind of want to be close to the water for our garden stuff, right? Kind of small up here. Yep, yep, raptors, man, raptors. It's very, very flat, though. How's our wind? That's another unique mechanic to this map. 1%. So there are some windmills that you can use for power. Now, if you go out there and build, might be the same, might not. It used to be out in the open plains that you had 100% chance for wind, which means your generator would run constantly without gas. The lower that it is, the lower chance that it'll kind of keep running. So if you got a 50% chance of wind, that means half the time your generator will run, then a 50% chance it won't. You alright, buddy? You got him? There's a jug bug. That's the other one. That's a water one. You can, uh... I'm not gonna say it. Well, I will. You can, you can drink out of his butt. It's kind of... <laughs> Don't come at me in the comments. I know, man. It's super weird. I didn't make the, the mechanics on it, but... You can go up behind it and get some water. No! It's a Pago! Junior! Buddy! They got some problems over here, buddy. Let's get rid of the Pago, and we'll just start building up here. 
Did he fall off in the water? I mean, that's fantastic if he did. So, let's clean out the raptors and stuff. We'll get out the dodic, and we'll start building. So we need to get adobe made. I think we'll go ahead and just do regular adobe for our bases here, because that kind of protects you from the elements, right? From the heat waves and stuff. In the middle of the day, dude, it gets super hot, man. Is right here good? Other option would be right up over there. Really want to stay up here. Let's take a look on the cats. That way we're on ground level. Grab some of that. Definitely start stocking up on the hide. Now, as you can see, I did not bring any of our resources. Kind of want to grab all that from the map itself. And plus, we're out of, uh, out of slots on the transmitter. Right here's not bad, but it's kind of small, right? Now, for this base, we're going vertical. We're going up. Kind of like we did on the last one. So we don't need a huge footprint. I think down here might work better, though. Easier kind of to wall off, and then we'll set up our area for our teams and stuff, too, right? They will definitely have a barn, man, to keep them safe. Because, again, dragons, man. Dragons. They're all in the air. There will be some over here eventually. Right here might work for our base. And what I'm thinking is a tiered one, maybe. Part up here, part down there? Maybe? Maybe not? Give me a second. L let me figure out where we want to start building. And then we'll get out the dodic. We need to grab a lot of sand. We need to grab a lot of... What is it? Sand? Cactus? And then we need to set up our... Chemistry bench. To get that kind of making. Check up here real quick. I don't know if this will be our permanent spot! Or what? Oh, dude, I forgot about all the raptors over here! Please do not be pouncing ones. I think that's only aberration. It better be only aberration! Nope. Nope. Uh-huh. Now you can see why if you come over to this map fresh and not with any tames, it's definitely hard to get started, man. <laughs> the raptors alone are no joke! Alright, man. Right here it'll be. So let's grab the dodic. And we'll clear out these rocks with him. I hear the raptors. I just cleaned all the raptors out, dude. And there's more of them spawning in. That is nuts how many are around. Alright, so the main thing we're looking for is sand. Now, we will need some stone later on. Again, if you're new to Ark, man, the, the problem with stone and metal on this map is if you build a house out of that, you are going to cook in there. Literally, it'll start killing you. So, the adobe is kind of the best way to go. That or thatch when you're starting off. The raptors, dude! There's so many! Have to get some plant species. I'm not sure where to get that on this map. Or we're definitely going to need some of those to protect us a little bit, you know? So that's enough of the sand to get started. Let's leave you right here. And then let's grab... the Theory, I think? I've never used him for grabbing the Cactus. It might work out, might not. We'll have to see. We need to go... maybe inland? To get some of the Cactus. I don't know if there's any over here. There should be some right down there. Take what? We'll just go right in the water, man. We'll take out all the raptors along the way with the theory. Now this is one of our boss fighting ones. So we have the good saddle. He's got all the good stats. I don't have any points put into his harvesting. We need to do that as well before I forget. Let's do that right now. I think we need to do power harvesting. And that'll help out with us gathering all of our tank accept that we need. A lot of points, man. It'll be pretty good, though. Should get quite a bit. Now, his weight's not going to be very well. Did not think about that. We could throw out a lot of the wood and just keep the cactus and probably some of the thatch. And I think for the air conditioners, we might put that in the floor just to have some some AC to kind of keep us cool. That should help out, too, whenever the storms come by, you know? But, like, the heat wave. Now, I've never seen one of the Phoenix, man. I really hope we can actually see them on this map. I don't even know what they look like. Because all my time in ASC, I could never find one whenever the heat waves come out. Alright, that's all the points there. What is your weight at? Not very much. 674. Very, very shy on the weights. I think there were some of the cactus down here, right? Hopefully it's not too far, because we need quite a bit of it to make up the adobe. So we're not getting... Interesting. We're not getting any of the cactus step with the fairy. It's going to be all fiber. The plants look a little bit different. Let's do some testing and see. So that's all normal stuff. I thought that was some of the cactus stuff we got from... Or got the uh, cactus from, you know? So these, we should be able to get some cactus with... 
the pick. You can. One. Not very much. I think Junior hit it. Terrorbird? What's up, Junior? I'm not 100% sure if you can actually get the Cactus with the Theory. If not, that is gonna suck, dude. Holy crap, man. So there's supposed to be these... Plus, there's supposed to be some stuff on the ground you can actually harvest as well. A statue in wood. There's another cat. Let's get rid of him. Nice little building there. Let's do a little bit of testing here. Is that... It's gonna be a tree. Dude, where is the... Little cactus that used to be on the ground you could farm up. You know, you usually use like a whip. I thought those were them, but apparently they're not. Hmm. Might be a little bit harder getting our cactus than I thought it was going to be. Maybe we'll grab the Anki and try him against the cactuses. Because at there, he's only going to grab wood from those. Try one of these real quick. Nothing. Absolutely nothing from that. Delicate is only thatch. Okay. I don't want to keep wasting them. Let me go back and... Well, we got the Anki on us. Holy forgot. Look, man, I'm new here, okay? I'm not used to doing anything like this normally. So, <laughs> it's kind of learn-as-you-go day. Cactus, there we go. Okay, so use the Anki. And use a Dodic. I'm gonna grab a bunch of this and tell Junior to follow me. Protection. We'll go back and start making our Adobe. Shouldn't need too much, like I said. We're gonna be go going vertical with our base. We'll get it all done today, but at least get a little bit of it to protect us, you know? So we got almost a thousand. So that's not too bad to get started. We'll get up here and try to set up our chemistry bench. That should make it up a lot faster. And I think we can run that off of power or off of gas, right? If so, we'll just throw some gas in it. Maybe make a small little foundation out of thatch or something. Because I don't think you can set it on the ground. Let's leave this guy here. And what do you have? Anything that we really want at the moment? We got some cactus sap. Not too much. Where did you get that from is the thing. That is very useful for the Jerboa taming. We'll take one of those guys here in a second. Get everybody over here out of the way. And we'll get some of the foundations making. Like I said, we'll just start off with the thatch ones because we need the adobe itself. And I'm thinking we might do, instead of foundations, maybe pillars and ceilings. Just because it's so uneven here, you know? Maybe, possibly. Seems like the foundations can actually go up and down now. We might just do a kind of like a smaller tiered base. We'll see. Dude, I want to get on the Quetzal. Yep. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna leave you there, man. Let all these guys tear you up. Yep. You and your friends. Bad day for you. Just saying. Oh, bad day for me. Holy crap, dude. Yep. Yep. 150. It's a 150. Junior! Holy crap, dude. Hey, look. It is not bad day. Stop swimming. Can't take him anywhere, man. Can't take him anywhere. Junior! Look, buddy. I know it's hot, man. I know it's hot. Come over here. Come over here. Now is not the time for swimming. This evening, when the sun goes down, take it for a swim. If you don't let me die, I'm just saying. All right, so let's see about making... Let's turn you off, love follow. Let's make a thatch foundation real quick. So we just need nothing out of you. Out of you. We got a little bit of wood. Not that much. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Oh, he's overweight. He was stuck. Need some of this. And we need some of that. Let's just do four of these for the moment. And then we need to unlock the adobe and stuff, right? Oh, wait. What's all this? So the mod pack did get installed. These are skins, okay. Gilly. Is that part of the DLC or is that just new? I think it is. It's all on level one. Oh, nothing to unlock them either. Interesting. One hide. Very cheap. Interesting. Okay, we'll look at that here in a minute. Let's uh, get some other stuff. A decor box. It's four cosmetics. Can hold one item. What's the point of that? Just saying. We need the tent for sure. Another map specific thing that we definitely need. Boomerang, you can use that for knocking out different creatures. It's kind of cool, really. Wood scaffolding. Now, a lot of this stuff is... Integrity without completely blocking an area. Interesting. 
A lot of this is going to be stuff for putting around base. I kind of like that. Adobe, here we go. Let's just search it like this. So, foundation. We're going to need that. And this. Let's just unlock everything. Everything that has to do with Adobe. we got enough points, man. We've got plenty of points right now. We can always do a mind wipe if we have to later on. We don't need the large walls. I don't ever use them. Probably need the gateway and a gate. Again, you don't want to build in stone because it's it's super hot, dude. We're going to need this for the dragons. I uh, know, I know. I'm not looking forward to it. So that's good there. And then we got some more stuff. Let's just do... Scorched Earth. Clay. Preserving salts. I cannot wait to start making those. It definitely makes your food and stuff last longer. Appearance of Gilly. I mean, why would you not just use regular gilly? I know it's just a skin, but... Vessel, that's for storing your... Salts and stuff, and that's a water well to put on. Propellants here, flame arrows, desert armor. Ah, oh, dude, I cannot wait to make this stuff. We'll probably check the drops first. Because you can usually get some belt sets. It's, it's kind of expensive, it requires some of the silk, and then crystal. And pearls. Now, there should be pearls by the obelisk. Need the saddle for the moth. Thorny Dragon, definitely want to tame one. Mantis, we'll try it. So here's the thing. ASC, Mantis used to be bugged where they had that whoosh sound all the time. We'll try it and see. All depends. We got a chainsaw. That is very good for harvesting everything. Wind Turbine, we're not going to unlock it because we'll probably get some out of drops. Same with the oil pump. Flamethrower, hopefully the FPS is not tanked like it did in ASC. And that's a new saddle there for that new creature. We're definitely going to be taming one of those and a rock golem, but those I usually get in drops. And you got the cluster grenade and the homing rockets. Thought I heard something. All right, let's put these out. Not sure how much of the base will get started today, but actually, you know what? We could do like a circle base around here. Actually, let's, let's kind of change something a little bit. Put this over here out of the way. All right. Give me... Actually, give you... Some of this stuff, so I can move around. Look, I, I will drop it, I don't care. I don't have time for your overweight games, I'm just saying. So for the chemistry bench, can that be ran with gas? Maybe. If not, I will set out the generator. Now the problem is, the generators will take damage over time. I mean, that's just the way that it is with Scorched Earth. And you gotta constantly repair them. We turn off clipping. There we go. I think you can run this off of gas. Yeah, gas or power. Perfect. So, we'll do that. Where is Junior? So that is very good for your water and stuff. Water and food. Put that in there. And then let's put... the sand from this guy in here as well. Again, I, I kind of feel like we're all over the place. We kind of are. But I'm not used to playing this map where we have <laughs> actual structures to build properly right at the start. Making this stuff by hand, not having a dotic or anything like that, it takes forever, dude, to get enough of the sand. Now, you can make a whip. And I was talking a little bit ago about where the cactus is on the ground. You can use a whip and it'll harvest all of the sand that's around, as well as cactus like crazy. I think it just looks different. So, that's our cactus. How many can we make? Not very much. 120 on that. That is not much at all, dude. We got nine days of fuel. Plenty of that. Probably just let this thing run. The main thing we're going to be missing is... Actually, it's about the one-to-one -one on sand and sap, right? Eight and four. So we need more of the sand than we do of the sap, which is kind of a good thing. All right, let me get some more going here. And then we'll try to get the foundation down. I'm thinking we might do something a little bit different. So... This right here kind of cuts in some. I thought about, thought about maybe doing foundations out here and out there. And then we're going to have the triangle ones kind of come in here, have like a big bay window, and then go out this way. Maybe. Might not be big enough for that. Might just build right here like I first planned. Might be the best thing. What was that? What was that? Say what? Yep, you're lucky you fell down there. There should be some of the pearls in the water down there. You know, right by where the <laughs> that guy was. What is this? 
that a raptor? He looks terrifying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Where's the... Junior, let's get some more sand, buddy. I should probably take one of the sabers with me just for protection. It's a Jerboa. Let me grab my saber tooth real quick, and we'll go ahead and tame that guy. He's hollering about a storm. Now, all this time that I spent in ASC on Scorch Earth, I still don't know <laughs> what ones he's talking about whenever he starts doing that holler. He does a different one that kind of cues you to which storm is coming, and I can never remember what is what. But, it doesn't really matter. As long as you know that there's a storm coming, that's kind of all that matters. I know, Junior. Hang tight there, buddy. Let's do passive on everybody. He don't look as cool as the other one, but... It'll be fine. Did I punch him into the ground? I think I punched him through the terrain. Oh, he's over here. <laughs> I was gonna say, that kind of sucks. Buddy, come here. Look, we can be friends, man. Don't mind the raptor. Not sure what happened to him. Yep, there we go. Run back the other way, please. It's safer. I know, there's a guy punching you and he's telling you to go the other way because it's safer. We'll grab some of those plant species. I think one will actually tame him up. And then he can eat those for food. It's kind of cool, man, because it won't spoil. Again, spoiling is kind of like the main thing to fight on this map. Junior, look, you're making this more difficult than it needs to be. Please, take a nap. I will shoot you with the darts. It'll actually kill him. You can't do that. Now, if we had a boomerang... You can throw that at him, and it does a good bit of torpor. Kind of cool to knock creatures out with that. All right, let's grab some of these. Two will be fine for now. That for you. We'll throw the stem berries over here. And we'll grab some more. Who has the rest? I think it's the, the fairy. Yeah, there we go. That's plenty, dude. Plenty. We are thirsting to the death. There we go. Junior, maybe you'll last longer than the other one, huh, buddy? <laughs> That's kind of cool, man. We'll have to grab a different one. They look exactly the same as they did in ASC. Thought maybe there would be different. What kind of storm is it, Junior? Please do not be a heat wave. Oh, dude, the heat waves are no joke, man. All right, so anyways, we should have some more sand. We'll have to grab some more of the cactus sap here. We need a chainsaw, man. The chainsaw makes everything so much easier. Now, we could do a couple supply drop runs. Try to grab it that way. Let's make up a couple of... Actually, it's a lot of... Cactus sap. Oh, I forgot it makes more because we're in this. So, let's do Adobe. Now, what do we need for... Thatch wooden fiber, okay? Not a big deal, not a big deal. Let's put all this into the Quetzal. I hear you, buddy. I hear you, man. Use the rest of this. We'll turn this off right now. That should be enough to get started. All right, so that's good there. 2,664. That'll be good, and let's grab... some stuff out of you. There's some more there. We're gonna need the thatch. We're gonna need that. And we need the wood. Easier just to have it all in the bird here. Throw this in there for later. Actually, let's turn this on. We'll just leave it on, because turning it on and off keeps burning one of the gas each time. That'll get some more made. We'll do it this way. A little bit, a little bit. And do we want to do foundations instead of the pillars? I kind of do. It's also nice doing the pillars and ceilings because then you can kind of build anywhere and have it all be flat. Take a look over here and see. It's relatively flat. Put the first of the foundations, maybe like right here, all the way down, or almost all the way down, and it should cover this whole area. I want to make sure it goes up over this is the main thing, man. You know? I think it'll be fine. We'll do foundations. Let me make a bunch of those up, and we'll start getting the foundation kind of laid out for our base. Sit on this guy so we're somewhat safe, man. The raptors are no joke, dude. It's a terrible day to be building our base, I'm just saying. Sandstorm! It's not too bad, man. Get a lot of sand in your inventory and stuff. We got a couple of these. I need some more of the thatch and stuff. Let's leave that there. We can't do too much because of the storm, so we'll just head over here. Do we have any more thatch in you? We don't. We need to get some. I hear wolves up there. There are wolves on this map too, man. They are no joke, dude. Storms, though. They look fantastic, man. 
So let's try to get this set up. They kind of go from there. Kind of worries me how that train is open underneath. So let's start building. I want to face directly into the obelisk. Can we pick this up? It's a tumbleweed. Interesting. You know, that was a thing, man. Now, these things just kind of go all over the place. You can get rid of them. It's kind of neat. Maybe we should start building on top of this and sink it all the way down. Let's clear this stuff out of the way real quick. Should probably be using the theory to grab fiber with this stuff, you know? I oh, mean, that sucks. It might go up to a second level there. It's all about getting these first blocks down just perfect, you know? So let's do this one. Like that, right? Let's make sure we can go all the way out to the edge. And that's going to be on... Ceilings and pillars if we come out here. Hmm. That might just be the easiest bet for... I can't jump. For building on this map is the ceilings and pillars. Over here's enough to put them down, though. Let's just do that. Like I said, it's not going to be massive. It'll be about the same footprint size as the other base. Maybe a little bit bigger. That'll work to kind of do some drop down on this side with ceilings and pillars and then make this a drop kind of like a terrace look like I like and come off to the side over here wall it off there wall it off up there let's do that man all right I'm gonna make a bunch more of the ceiling or the uh not the ceilings but the foundations need to get some more of the thatch with the theory though whenever the sandstorm kind of goes away all right so we got a couple of the foundations let's try to get the base of our base set up here the base of the base there's another storm coming already. Holy crap. I hope they get that sorted out to where there's not so many of them. Didn't even take a look at the Adobe yet, man. Looks better. I'm kind of curious how the paint will be on it. Because that was kind of messed up on ASC, right? You really couldn't paint it without it looking too weird. Let's set a couple of these out. Not down there, please. And thank you. Need you to cooperate today. So how far across is this? That should be a good footprint there for the base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we want odd number? I think we do. And then we'll do a drop down here with our deck out front. And that'll be kind of cool, man. Will this sit down on that? It will. That'll be nice. And for this part, we'll go ahead and use ceilings. Coming off of that, have some stairs here. It'll look nice, man. It'll look very, very nice. So seven across there should be good. Odd number. And then we'll do... That's three, four, five, six. That should be good. A couple more of these, and we'll fill all this in. And this will be the footprint of the whole inside of the base. That might be a little bit too big. Junior, look, buddy, look. This is a bad place to live. Took my canteen. The guy was just thirsty, man. Look, I totally get it, dude. Totally get it. However, this is mine. I make this a little bit smaller. Let's take it in by one foundation. Again, we're going vertical, so we don't need it very, very big. We're trying to save on base space here. I like the small builds. We never do them, <laughs> but I do like them. And that'll be a 7 by 5 Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five. Is that six? One, two, three, four, five. It is seven by six. That's still not too bad. Hmm. Do I want to go smaller? Not really. That's fine. All right, so that'll be the footprint. I got a lot more stuff to get made up, and it works out the word doesn't really have to come up here, too. Like I said, we'll go ahead and do a drop down over here. Have a small outside deck over here, and then a small one on the front here with some ceilings. And that's where we'll put our industrial forge, probably out here, maybe, maybe in the back, so we don't see it out front. 
I still think this is kind of big for our base, man. Might make it smaller. We'll see. I got a lot of stuff to do farming on, though, for getting the rest of our stuff. Mainly, it's just thatch that I need. Then we'll get some more of the other stuff going here soon for a little bit more of the adobe. I like going up here so we can actually keep our trees around here. The goal for today is... Oh, there's a Thyla. I know, buddy. I know. I hear him. What level is it? Level 10. Okay, tell you what. We will take care of you ourselves. <laughs> there is a lot of Thylas around. Kind of a cool thing. Kind of a terrifying thing at the same time. Our poor Quetzalman doesn't do any damage, really. But level 10 should kill him off. Give him a couple points. There we go, man. There we go. Alright, so the foundations are done out here. I got a couple of the walls made. Only five. There's another storm coming already. <laughs> I think we'll take a look at the walls real quick. And then I gotta do some more farming. Get this Pego off of our... ...base up here. There we go. So I'm thinking... We want to do the... ...the drop down right here. Probably, right? So we want a double doorway. And then we want a normal one. I'm thinking just five, maybe. Five wide for the base. Pick up all these and use them. Um, we're going to have a small little walkway coming down over here. Just like we do over here. I'm thinking for our forges and stuff, maybe we'll put them over here. Have our drop down deck right here. Have our forge out off to the side. And then our greenhouse and stuff will be up on top. I have a plan for that. It's going to be, like I said, the base is longer than it is wide. Let's do that, man. Let's pick these up. Kind of saves us on a little bit of building as well, right? Again, super weird that we're building this early, but... Kind of works out for all the storms to keep coming by, right? Alright, so that's good there. Might have to do my own kind of drop down here. So that it covers that stuff up. It's not going to be a very far drop down for the terrace, but... We kind of steps coming down some. Is this even with this? It is. We could just do it like this. And have our stairs covering that. Right? Have the stairs come down right here? We could. That'll kind of cover it up. We'll try that. Have our doorway right here coming out. But the Adobe Man looks fantastic, dude. We got some paint. Let's try to paint it real quick. And see how that looks? Not sure if I like how the wood shows on the outside. Some of these we might change over to, to Windows 2, right? Let's grab our paint gun real quick. We use whatever colors in there, doesn't really matter. Actually, let's use a paintbrush. That way we can kind of see what color fields are what. I'm hoping that it fully covers what we're trying to paint, right? That was a problem with ASE. It didn't fully cover the... Adobe part. It doesn't. It's like an oil wash on it, man. Ah, it looks terrible, dude. Let's do it in blue just so we can actually see the color color difference. I mean, that kind of covers it, not fully. I was hoping it was going to be solid. You can still paint those, though. Do that, like, on the inside. I mean, different color, doesn't have to be black. Hmm. We'll have to see whenever we actually get to it. It's another sandstorm! Kinda works out, we need sand anyways. Eat some food. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's let the sandstorm go away, and then we'll go ahead and play with a little bit of the... skins and stuff. I didn't unlock them, did I? These. See what it looks like? Just thatch, man. No skill points to unlock it, or, uh, Ingram points, so it's kinda cool. I think that's all the stuff we need for Scorched Earth. Oh, the whip. Now, those we usually get from some of the drops and stuff, so might not unlock that. We've got the stuff to make one. Let's make one. We'll make one. I think that's made in our inventory, right? Let's get over here. We got a ton of silk and stuff from the Theory. I've never used a Theory on this map. Holy crap, the amount of silk that he got from harvesting over here trying to get some fiber. It is nuts, dude. I've been doing stuff wrong my whole arc life. I mean, we all know that. <laughs> I got video proof of all that. Grab some stuff and make this whip real quick. Some of that. 
We're gonna need... Oh, we don't have any hide. We do. We got some hide. Gonna need a little bit of fiber and some wood. And one of these. Now, you used to be able to use that to grab the eggs out of the dragon nest. They removed that ability a long time ago. It seems how ASA has a lot of the old bugs. I'm wondering if that is still in the game now. If so, you can flap on a moth or something and knock it off and whip and get one of the eggs. Super simple. But you can whip your tames. Get them to move forward. Kind of nice for moving them around. And then for, the, for this kind of stuff, man, you get a lot of the berries, fiber, anything that's on the ground. If we can find the patches of the cactus, it is very, very good for grabbing a cactus. If you can find some of the stones and stuff down here, it also whips up a lot of the, the sand and stuff you can pick up. I'm not seeing any of that on the ground, though. Let the storm go away, and we'll head over that way and see if we can find some of the patches of cactus. Hopefully they didn't remove those. Kind of cool to have in-game, you know? Let's do this real quick. We just need some thatch. Got some there. Plenty of that. Put all this stuff back into him. Good way to get your seeds and stuff, too, for doing our crops. So, we'll do one of each of these. See how the skins are. I'm curious about the other building parts, too, man. So, we got all these, too. I don't know if we have enough hide. Let's go ahead and unlock them. While we're doing some testing, man. I like how they have a bunch of different kinds. You got a rancher, outlaw, and then a sinister, and a drifter. I kind of like the drifter myself. We'll wait for unlocking these things. What's scaffolding? It's one point. Might as well. Take a look at it while we're doing our... Our building. Not going to get all the building done today, of course. Fantastic how it kind of rolls across the map. I wish you could see it coming in like that whenever the uh, Draboa starts yelling. If you can see the sandstorm coming, you might! I never look up. I'll have to try to remember to look up. So... What is this piece? Chess piece? Wait, what do we do with this? I can't put it on my chest piece. I can't do it there, and I can't put it on here. Am I doing something wrong? Is it only certain items you can actually put that on? Interesting. I wonder if it's bugged. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we won't actually check these out today. That kind of sucks. Ain't no option to drop it on that. Hmm. Maybe it's only certain parts of armor you can actually put that on. So I guess we can't actually use... Wrong button. So I guess we can't actually use it on this one either, huh? Let's try the hats. That works. Why does a ghillie not work? Super weird. Let's make up some more. Let's try... The gloves, of course. Which shirt do we like? I like this one. That's the outlaw one. Is there a drifter one? I don't think so. That one requires fiber. It's kind of interesting. We've got some drifter boots. I like those. Versus the cowboy. Drifter pants. Junior, is it another storm already? Buddy, man, calm down with the storms here. Gloves, shirt, boots, pants. That's kind of cool. I am not sure at all how this fits in with Ark and dinosaurs. <laughs> Looks kind of cool, though. Not going to lie. Can you paint them? I'm guessing you can. So do we paint it on top of... Oh, you do. So that's color field one. Color field two will be your buttons. Three will be your shirt. That looks fantastic, man. That's gonna be that. That kind of needs to be the normal color. Oh no, gray looks pretty cool. We we'll do that gray with all leaving all this the same. Let's do that. I don't have very many dies. I just got the three sets. That is gonna be around your neck. 
That's gonna be that. Let's leave. Let's do that, man. I kind of like the little bit of regular leather. At least for this. Let's paint that gray. No, not that! How do we remove it? I don't have any soap! I painted the wrong thing! I didn't want this to get painted, I just wanted that. I mean, it's fine. Look, dude, it's done. So we paint the whole thing now just to kind of get it... Let's do the whole thing. Oh, that sucks. I didn't mean to paint the whole thing. Looks kind of cool, though. What about the pants? We should be building our base. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We're playing with paints. Might just incorporate a little bit of blue. I like that blue. Maybe we'll do this. That black. Leave this brown. Should we paint all that black? Let's do those gray for our pants. It's gonna be the belt buckle. Look at that the color that it is. It's not too bad. Then our gloves will leave them kind of the color that they are. I don't know why, but I like it. The boots? Let's see about the boots. Do that gray. I think black for this, because we did black on the rest before. We'll do that blue. Accent pieces. As well as that. And black. Wait. We do a gray. Let's do a black. There we go, man. That's kind of cool, dude. Again, not sure how the cowboy look kind of fits in with uh, <laughs> dinosaurs. Hey, maybe it was around at that time, but it's definitely nice to see some different stuff for your... Your clothes, man. Skins are always a nice thing. Is there a heat wave coming through? It's the middle of the day. We need to stop playing with paints. There is a heat wave coming by. All right, so all we're missing to get done for the day is some more of the walls. We'll finish the most part of the base in the next video because I'm not sure of the, the, the uh, design very well. I kind of have an idea in mind, but not exactly sure. So I'll kind of tell you real quick. What I want to do is down here, it's going to... So the sides here will go straight up, right? And then we'll have the slope ceiling come off this way, and it's going to be on the poles, right? So it'll be a little bit of an overhang here. Have some of our cooking stuff outside. And here, like I said, it'll go straight up. I think on this half, it's going to be half and half. This half, it'll go straight up, and it'll be nothing on top. That'll go all the way up to where our balcony will be on the inside. This side over here, we're going to have the back half. It's going to be shorter by like one or two ceilings, and it'll come down at a slope on this side. This will have no slope. It'll go all the way up, cap off square. This side will come off at an angle, but on the back side here is where we'll have our greenhouse. I think, possibly, small, tiny little greenhouse, just with vegetables, and that's it. And all of our berries we can actually get with our theory, or not the theory, but the uh, the other teams, and kind of do it that way. So our footprint will just be this for the base. Off the side over here might just be... Might just be a small little drop down. And then over here, it'll be a little walkway coming down with some stairs. And that's it. Backside over here, we might have the industrial forge off the side. And keep this for our cooking area outside over here. Look, man. It's, it's, it's hot, dude. You do not want to be cooking inside and burn the house down or, or have heat exhaustion, you know? The way that it goes, dude. Very, very temperamental map. So, let me get a little bit more of the sap and stuff going. Try to get some walls around the outside, and then we'll kind of call it for today. And I'll farm up a lot of stuff between this video and next video. So we can actually finish building it, and should be able to move all of our stuff inside. Alright, let's get this kind of cooking up here. And we'll go ahead and make some storage. And get that kind of sorted out over there so we can pick up a lot of these teams. I think you got some stuff in here for building, right? Just need a little bit of wood. That should be good. Let's do... Two of these. Perfect amounts. And then we need to get a preserving bin going as well, man. I should have brought a refrigerator. Totally. <laughs> I did not think about it. It's fine, though. It's fine. So there's that. Let's get you over here. We'll get the bird. And then we can kind of pick up some of our tames and just leave the cat out. And the bird I'm kind of using for going over there and grabbing stuff. So might leave him out still as well. 
I want to get some stairs made too to see if that'll actually work out like I'm thinking right there to kind of cover up some of that. If not, we'll try to work around it. So, just temporarily put one right here. And one. Let's turn on clipping. One right there. It's going to be overweight. It's fine. Do it the old school way. Almost. Now you can use the whip to uh, grab stuff as well that's on the ground. It's kind of cool, man. The whip is a fantastic item. Especially once you get the high level ones. And you can kind of use them all over the place and not worry about them breaking. They break super fast is a problem. The dodic is empty, right? But dropping all the stone. There's another storm, Junior. They got to fix the storms, man. It should only happen once every half an hour on ASE. That might be one of the problems now is it's just ASA don't have the timing right. Like the, the fortitude and stuff, man. It is definitely not set like it should be. Drop these. We'll keep some of that stuff. And then I did bring a grinder, I think. So we can go ahead and grind that up. We'll keep some of the arrows as well. Spoiled meat is not something we need to keep because we get that super easy. Just drop all that stuff. Put you over here. And then once all of that adobe's done, we'll bring the chemistry bench and just set it over here as well. So this one will be for all of our miscellaneous junk. Not to hide. It's crazy, man. I'm still, <laughs> still amazed how much easier this map is if you come over here with all your stuff. I know, buddy. I hear you, man. I hear you. He should have some levels here soon. Put it into mainly just health. Kind of keep him alive. This guy's super close to empty out. This and that's and that's. Little bit of the clay. Not much. All that needs to go into a preserving bin. We should be able to make one, I think. And we got enough stuff to make up some of the spark powder, too. I think we need stone. We don't have regular stone, do we? I've been throwing the stone out. We're gonna need some for the preserving bin, I think. 30 stone, not hard. Could probably get some of that with the dodic. Did I pick the dodic up? I did. Clean out this rock right here. It needs to be gone anyways. Sorry, buddy. I know you're sleeping. That is a lot. It's a lot of stone and sand. Kind of sucks you can't really build with stone. Now, in the past, I have taken all the stone and used that for my outer perimeter wall. It kind of works, but again, it kind of attracts the heat and stuff, you know, towards your base. And makes it hard to live. Alright, so... Some of this, some of that, some of that, some of that. I think that's it, right? One of you. I'll take this and this over. And we'll go ahead and use that for making up some spark powder. Again, just for the moment. Right through the theory's legs. Kind of weird, just saying. We'll set you... Actually... Well, we'll put it up here. It's safer. Junior! Stop being rude, buddy. Almost demolished it. And then we'll take the Quetzal, get him kind of sorted out too. Empty all that stuff. That way if he dies for some reason, at least we have all of our, our stuff, you know? Oh, well, that's done. Fantastic! We need some more sand. We got some. Let's take this, this, and that. Oh, we can't move. It's too much. Let's draw this. Pick up you. Or have you again. Drop this. We'll run. <laughs> we gotta hurry. It's only like 30 seconds, and those things will disappear, I think. Or one minute. Drop you. I don't want to clip. Right there. Run over and grab this other stuff. Horrible time for a sandstorm. Because you'll actually lose all your stuff, man. Can't run. Ah, uh, dude, now we're overweight. It's an electrical storm, I think. Now, we shouldn't be able to use our cryos and stuff if it is. This gun should work because it's primitive. But if we had our normal shotgun, you wouldn't be able to use it or the flashlight whenever the electric storm comes. It looks fantastic. It's kind of over that way. See the clouds and stuff, right? 500 years later. We're over here. Drop that stuff off. Let's turn this on. Let's make a little bit of spark powder. We just need some stone. Thought we had stone. I left it. Then we can empty the fairy out. And put them into the cryo. 
We're kind of good on wood, I think, for the moment. Alright, that in there. All of this. Minus the silk. It's always nice to preserve it, though. <laughs> I could put it in there if you wanted to. I hear all the Jerboas, man. Somebody's getting attacked by something over there. Raptors. Junior! You're on deck, buddy. Save the Jerboas. I definitely want to get a different color one than what we have. Pegos, okay. Terrifying thing. I got you, buddy. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. There's only one left. We killed all the other ones on accident. What color are you, buddy? I like the gray and the black one that we had. I mean, you're fine. We'll let you live. It's a good way to hear if there's stuff kind of coming too close. I'll start yelling. It's another one. Now, is there going to be baby Jerboas? That would be fantastic, dude. Are you... Oh, there are! It's a baby one! Junior, can I claim you? You can't because that is your mother over here, isn't it? Oh, dude! How do we... I can't claim you. I can't see you. You blend in so well. It's awesome, man. Yep, I see ya. We'll let you be, buddy. That's your mom that's around here. Leave her alone as well. Alright, Junior, leave her alone. Leave him alone. It'll be fine. Let's pick up our fairy, get this sorted out. And I need to make some more walls so we're somewhat safe. Actually, can we throw this guy out? We can. So that storm is not close enough to affect us for the cryos and stuff. Hmm, interesting. Alright. Enough to build with, then we'll kind of call it a day. Forgot to show you, too, the, uh, the hat, man. That's the hat. I mean, it looks cool. Not me. I always hide my hats, but looks kind of cool, man. Matches. It does kind of look like the, uh, proper attire for this area, though. I mean, if there weren't dinos involved, that is. So let's set up a couple walls right here. And I think, like we were talking about, we're gonna do these stairs here. I got a couple sets of those made. We are overweight, man. <gasps> what is that? Oh, that's the, uh, the round one. We want the normal one. Rain coming. So the Jerbo is whining about. That's two of those. Not sure how I feel about that. The other option for this... ...is pick these up. We can set it up the same height as this. And we can do this. The stairs coming down like that. Right? This will be our, kind of our walkway coming out. Come down here. We'll go out one more set of foundations that way, and this will be all of our cooking area. I kind of like that, man. That is not too bad. And then up here, maybe we can put, like, our feet trough. Have it right here. The whole look that I like about Scorched Earth, doing this with the Adobe, is the Terrace look. Or like, the whole base. I mean, let's be honest, that's how all my bases are, but... <laughs> mainly on this map. Let's do regular stairs here. I've got five of the ceilings. That's good there. We'll set up... The railings that I have, I did not count properly. Now, normally I hate the adobe railings, but these... ...look better, man. They're more wood than they are adobe. I'm just totally fine. Wasn't really a fan of the adobe look before. They look just kind of like... ...sticks stuck in mud. I mean, that's kind of <laughs> kind of what adobe is anyways. Now, is that the... It's adobe railing. It looks very nice, man. I really like that railing. That'll be good out here. We'll put our trophies and stuff outside here with our flags and whatnot, you know? Again, we'll change some of these over to glass. Let's make up... We need one, two... Three, four... Four on the railings. Five. One, two, three, four of these. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen more on the railings. We might be out of wood. We are, not a problem. Let's put some more of these out. Again, some of these will change to doors, some will change to windows. I just want to get somewhere safe to keep me and our stuff right now because, as you saw, man, the raptors are everywhere, dude. The tail, dude, the tail. 
And this one will be a door for sure. And this one was going to be a window for sure. Like that. I like it, man. I like it. It's coming together. Let's drop off the rest of these. Now, like I was saying, this side here... Probably end it... We want to go over the door? I think we do. So we'll have two down here. One up top. There'll be a floor in here. This will be our indoor balcony. And this is only going to be too high on this side. Actually, too high? One high. One high. Only going to be one high in here. Right? Yep, and it's going to slope down right there. So, triangle, triangle. Slope, slope. This will all be down here, and that'll be kind of two. It's like one and a half with the slope. So it won't be claustrophobic. And then we might go up one more on the top there. Like I said, I want it to be tall on one side. Slope down on this. And then out here over this thing will be kind of sloped down as well. Probably from the... Not here, but the next wall up. We'll start our slope going down. That'll all be part of the next video. Let's do the same thing over here just so that I know where we're at. That'll kind of work. Dude, the adobe! It's raining! Doesn't happen very often. It's fine, though. Alright, so, we needed, I totally forgot how many, 14 and 4, I think, on the foundations. We're gonna need the fairy, though, to get some... wood. Let's move you, buddy. Your, your tail keeps making me not want to come by the storage cabinets. It's not your fault, man. It's not your fault. I mean, it kinda is. It's attached to you. Why are we so heavy on weight? Oh, all of the... the meat. Let's put it in here. We don't need very much at all. The raptors, dude. The raptors! I didn't get the Quetzal over here to empty them out yet. I want to leave these trees, too. The rides? One or two swipes with the fairy, and we should be good on... wood. Let's leave the cat over here. That's one thing I like about the cat, man. He kind of fits in a double door. Super simple to have him in your base. Like a mud look. I mean, <laughs> it's Adobe. It's kind of that anyways. Maybe we'll grab that drop, too. Let's fly you over here, Junior. Just right there. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Alright, so last thing is getting this outside kind of sorted, and we're good. Break these down. Let's just pick them up. I might need them for later for some... Staging. Let's grab that drop, and we'll hit some trees on the way back. It's a blue one, not too far away. It's kind of nice that a drop is right here by base. There's a couple of them around this, this area, too. I did not see any of the patches of cactus, man. Not too sure what's up with that. Maybe they got rid of them. The right. First drop on Scorched Earth. We got a... Paris Saddle? Okay. We got a uh, one for a centipede. We don't need these. That's kind of disappointing. Wait a minute. They had the beta and alpha you can do from the drop. It used to not be a thing on single player, man. One more swipe. We're good on wood. Oh, it's so nice. I cannot wait till we get one of the chainsaws. We'll find one in a drop here eventually. I'll probably start doing a lot of the drop runs off camera. Hurt something. And then... That'll be a lot of our stuff that we need for gear. Another raptor down there. I need to look up to see where the plant species are. Not sure if they're on this map. If not, we'll grab some from the other one. Can you fit inside? You can't. Kind of, but not really. Let me empty your inventory. And then I'll pick it back up. Alright, we've got enough to finish this. It is still raining outside. So that'll work there. We will do these on the side here. How do these look stacked? Not too bad, man. That might be fine there. Might allow raptors up. But once we get our plant species up, don't really have to worry about that too much. And that'll be good there. Two more out here. It's kind of nice. We might try to round this off some. I don't want to connect this and that. I want it to be totally separate. 
about to see out here, man. Not sure what we'll put up. Probably just our... Yeah, it'll look a little bit different once we get our roof on there. And then for the top, to kind of cap this off, we'll use some of these as well. Up on the very top, around the, uh, the one part. And we'll have roof access as well. To put our birds up there, kind of keep everything safe. I like how this is, though. That'll be very nice. Actually, you know what? We got some of our... Stuff in the bird here. So we'll have that outside, and this outside. I could set up the generator today. We'll prob probably wait until the next video, though, for that. I'll just put these out for the moment. So we'll do, like, this right here. And then for the cooker. Junior, how are you going to have another storm when this one is not even done yet? I am just saying. Can we turn off clipping and put it at an angle? We can. Kind of takes up a lot of room at an angle, but I think it looks a little bit better. That is way out away from that. I heard the raptor. Where's he at? Maybe down below. I'll have to see about this. We might do the grill up top here instead of the feed trough. I mean, it fits. It's a little bit big, but it does fit. Come out here. Do your grilling. We'll move this to the other side. I like that a lot better. Probably do it like that. Like I said, one more wall high, and we'll have a little, kind of like a canopy coming over this. And it'll end right here with some of the pillars, the post, and attach to it that way. I like it, man. I like it. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. Had a pretty decent start. Not too bad. We didn't get raptured right off the start, like usually happens. Didn't die from Capros or the Thirst, so <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a good start, man. I like the way that the Adobe looks. The terrain in Scorched Earth looks fantastic, man. There's a lot more of the shrubs around, so it looks a lot better than it did in ASC. I have to say for sure, man. And then the new skins look fantastic, dude. Again, not sure how that works out to be in with dinosaurs, but regardless, it, they look fantastic, man. Very nice to change up your appearance after so many hours in ASC having the same looks. Next video, we'll go ahead and get our base finished and try to get that sorted out. We'll do some supply drop runs, look around the map a little bit, and kind of go from there. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.